stuff leading up to Six Feet Under. Lots of stuff leading up to Six Feet Under, indeed. In a quick rundown, let's see if we can do this in nine minutes. We will do that while everybody else uh, brings in their friends and hopefully spreads out, maybe takes off some of that laggy material that hurts us. So help us help you. We will see a triple threat bombshell match as, oh, as we'll see former women's international champion, sinfully devilish Maxine Darkwatch, taking on the former women's champion, Erie Larwin, and Alexa. Alexa's just going to be thrown in there to mix it up and to make things unstable. Then, after he got himself a non-title win over the grid champion, Jeffrey Fireguard, tonight we will see Bryce Ketterly take on the Houston Hazard, John Strzok, in some one-on-one competition in that very ring. Then to the main event that we had already discussed, we already touched a little bit of base on that because there was so much base to cover. With these two, the Sisters of Destruction will go to war against each other. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Lil Bell will be facing each other. Lily Martinez, Isabel Martinez. One is fast and sometimes reckless aggressive extremely aggressive and the other one is just unstable i guess unstable is a word we can use some people use completely and crazy insane but we'll stick with unstable that being isabel martinez that is entirely correct especially i have seen these two in and out and i promise you there is nothing more classic Then Lily Martinez and Isabel Martinez go at it one-on-one. Ha! You guys are in for a treat here tonight. So, come on, guys. TP your friends. TP your mother. TP your daddy. TP your gold, bald-headed granddaddy. And come on down to VWE, the home of virtual wrestling entertainment. God, I gotta stop drinking these amps. Well, I don't know about that. I have to say I quite enjoy the entertainment they bring or the the reaction that you have to them. So by all means, have some more. So I'm just going to, um, yes. So everyone TV, your friends, because we are about to be five minutes away. So make some noise if you are ready for VWE prime time. And here we are at the five minute mark. Let's let's give a round of applause for Camera Kitty. Let's give some give some appreciation to her. She will be taking care of the camera tonight. Hello, Camera Kitty. I hope you're okay over there. If you need anything, just let somebody in production know. Somebody that's not us, because we cannot exactly go out and get you a latte or Try to score you some catnip in the alley behind the arena. I mean, if you want some amp, you know, just let me know. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Ren Blackheart has plenty of amp. Plenty of amp. Enough amp to get. Amp and corn dogs. Yes, amp and corn dogs. 
Now, where that may not sound all that appetizing, I have to admit, I have to admit, I would enjoy some amp and a corn dog. So you have quite good taste. I do what I can. I do what I can. But I, 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 I'm because I'm so anxious, or is this just an ant talking? But I am actually anxious for prime time because it is four minutes away. I guess it would be safe to say that you are amped for VWE prime time. <laughs> I like that one. I am amped for prime time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining us here on V 
E-W-E, Horizon Time. I am the Spartan Ren Blackheart, and I am here alongside with Cotton McKnight. Cotton, are you ready? Absolutely. Just listen to that music playing, folks. My goodness, I, you know, you know, it, it, it's a good, it's a good night. It's a good, it's a good. It is a good moment. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to VWE Prime Time. Let me hear you make some noise. Who's in the house here tonight? That's right, I am Ren Blackheart once again. <laughs> and alongside, it is the good old, the good old Mr. Cotton McKnight. Cotton, how are you, my friend? I am great as we are going to bring you some live action here in the brand new VWE arena in a guard. You know what? I, I really like this place. Yes, I do. Oh, oh wait. Wait, whoa. What, 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 what is this? We got a quick show tonight, so I'm going to cut straight to the point. All right, I'm going to cut straight to the point and call out a specific person that has earned himself a shot for the PWE Grid Championship. Bryce Kelly, I know you're back there, so come on out, boy. Well, did he just call out? All right, who you have me out here? 
All right, Bryce, I'm just going to make this short and sweet. I decided to give Miss Phoenix a call earlier this week to pitch a specific idea since she's the only one part of management that actually has their head tied up, put on the right way, unlike some people, Austin. And simply put, you and me are going to have our good title match is actually going to be a little more interesting. You want to know why? Oh, please enlighten me. Because our, because you and me are going to both have separate matches over the next two weeks. That's in something that's called Beat the Clock Challenge. Pretty much, whoever out of the two matches the, wins their match, if they win it, wins their match the quickest, gets to pick our stipulation for the BWE grid title at six feet under. I'm like, I'm like how you're thinking. But let me guess, there's something else rolling in your mind there, and I'm pretty sure you have an opponent for me tonight. Oh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to call you out here to... Although I don't actually wish you the best of luck, I'm actually going to be a good sport and say, wish you the best of luck, you golden little shithead. Now, oh. sit. Thank you for that compliment, dear sir. I mean, coming from such a, you know, respectable champion, using that sort of language in front of all these fans that adore you, I don't have no, I have no clue how late these people actually like you as the grid champion. They want a true champion, Jeffrey. They want a former world heavyweight champion to hold that belt. Oh, the reason this crowd actually gets behind me, unlike you, is because I actually treat them with respect. Something you really need to learn, Bryce. Mr. Oh, I'm a former world champion. I deserve this. I deserve that. Listen, I'm going to make it short and sweet. At six feet under, you better hope you get that stipulation, because if not, I'm going to make you bleed, boy. Uh, oh, okay, so here, I've already got mine in my head, don't worry. But of course, once I, we, I guess we don't know our opponents then, if that is that correct. Alright, well, that's all I wanted to call you out here for was to actually announce this, since Miss Phoenix was nice enough to spice up the great tile match. Now, I'm going to slide out this ring, high five a few of these fans, and you can either head to the back respectfully or try to be Billy Badass and try to jump me and hope that I don't fight back. Oh, I'm not that kind of guy, Jeffrey. You never, you know I would never do anything wrong, Kate. Then head on back because your match is, that yeah, match with John is your beat the clock challenge match, boy. Oh, it is? Oh, yes. So, best of luck. This will be good. Alright, management sure hit my watching. You best believe. Management hit my music. Well, some powerful words said from both sides there. Jeffrey Fireguard letting Bryce know that tonight his match will be a beat-the-clock match. Well then, so that, that, is, that is what has been told. And, um, well, let's hope he, he doesn't uh, eat those words, because if he does, whew. Yes, because as stated recently, Bryce does have a non-title win over the grid champion there, Jeffrey Fireguard. And that is true, oh. because he's the former world heavyweight champion. But you know what, guys? I, I, I think it's time to get in some action, don't you think? Reading my mind, I was just about to say that. 
Let's uh, let's bring out match one. If everybody's ready, this lady comes from Blood Ties. Stands five feet eight inches tall. One thirty-five on the pound scale. This is Alexa Zlatkis. And her opponent coming to us from British Columbia in Canada, standing 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing 130 pounds, this is Erie. And the third combatant to this match hails from New Orleans in Louisiana, standing 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing 132 pounds. This is the sinfully devilish Maxine Darkwatch. production <sighs> not again Well, folks, we have definitely entered the realm of the strange and unusual, as that was obviously not Maxine Darkwatch's m music. That was okay. <laughs> it's because I had to make sure. Song.
Okay, I had to make sure because I was sitting here like, am I getting trolled? Possibly. Jeez. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, <clears throat> this is a three-way dance. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Oh, my gosh. And here we go. We got a lockup performing right here. Oh, 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 here we go. And a headbutt going on right there. And we got a wrenching wrist lock right here coming on up. Wahoo! Come on here, chain wrestling. That's what I like there, chain wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go, Maxine going on in there with a woo, give me a flip going on right there. And then that little, there, oh, there go with like the wrist lock take down. Ladies and gentlemen, that's some good old-fashioned wrestling. Wait a minute, what's going on here? And then they get, oh, they just go missing that corkscrew. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. Good Lord Almighty, a head-to-head butt drop right there. Whew. Here we go, shot across the ropes, here we go. And a monkey flip, there we go! My goodness gracious! See, this is why I love Maxine, because she's not lost the beat. She's not, she's not skipped the beat. She's the prime time player. And oh, what a nice little sit and flip face buster right there going on. Straight to the area right there. No, oh, 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 there you go. Picking up the opponent by the hair. That, that, that's what we call pulling the hair, y'all. That is amazing. Oh, oh I, I apologize. Pulling up the weave. That's what it is. They're going to pull up the weave. And then, oh, area of encounter with a nice little snap man going on right there. A little elbow drop going to the right there. Ooh, shot across the roof. Here we go, shot across the roof. And Alex is just not doing anything. And a nice little leg drop and shit. Ooh. And then Maxine going on, giving that. Ooh, the flying priest that's going on there. That's really nice. I like that. That's really nice. I like, like that. I love that right there. And here comes Maxine picking up area right here. And let's see what we got going on coming on here. And wait a minute, here we go. She got a cross face going on right here on area. We can see area tapping out right now. Do we see a tap out right now? We see a tap out. And Alex is just out there just doing nothing, just looking outside in there. What, what is she doing? And she ain't gonna tap. She is not gonna tap. I like that. That's a good charisma. That's a good. That's a good stuff going on with her. Let's do this here. Oh my goodness! Here we go. What can we see going on with the with the with the Maxine and the Erie? Wait, wait, wait! What is she doing? Alex is pulling the ropes to Erie and the great. What the? What kind of conspiracy theory going on here? You know Maxine is always fair. She gotta she gonna break that she gonna break that hole. She gonna break that hole, baby. So basically this ain't this ain't even a three-way fan, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I call a two-on-one handicap man. That's what I see right now. Because they, they are helping each other. Wait a minute, cro rebound cro Oh my goodness, what a nice little cross body right there by Erie. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go for the cover. Here we go. One. Is it we see a cover? No. Wait a minute. She just put him out. She just put her out the ring. What is this going on here? See, they're just jumping poor Maxine. This ain't even right. This ain't right. 
When the suicide dies through the roof, my goodness, my good old eerie, my goodness gracious. Poor baby. And then here come Maxine, she's trying to get up because this is really something, that she can't take this no more. She can't take it no more, this is just ridiculous. And then look at Alex, just putting the hair on Eerie, poor Eerie, see this is, this is, oh now, now she wants to play fair, this ain't fair. And then she just, oh my goodness. And then Alex is forming a drop kick to the face. Ooh, right on the button, just right there. And then here come Alex picking up Maxine. Here we go. We got something going on right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is BW Prime Time. And you are looking at a, tr a triple threat, three-way dance, whatever you like to call it. Call your mama, call your daddy. This is what we have here at BWE Prime Time. We got Maxine, we got Erie, and we got Alex going on here. And she goes into the ropes. And Maxine falls into the ring. With that Irish whip there by Alex, and I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is just amazing. And Erie is out there outside of the ring. And then here come Alex going on, picking up poor little Maxine. What we got here? Oh my goodness. She got a front face lock going on right there. And then she just strikes a nice blow to the back of the head and in the top. My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what you call ignorant in the VWE. Yeah, that's right. VWE. And then here we go, she's going to pick her up again and make it an hour strip to the corner. That's what it is, the corner, baby. And then here we go with a nice knee strike right there to poor little Maxine. Alex is just taking it. My goodness. Here is still outside of the ring. She's trying to look and see what's going on. Oh, wait a minute. Here you go. Alex just chanting one more time, baby. One more time. And then here we go. Maxine going reverse and get on there. Yeah. There we go. Come on here. Yes. And then we Nice little head to the takedown, baby. Now that was classic wrestling, baby. That's a nice little push-up head to the takedown that we saw from Maxine, baby. And here we go, classic wrestling. They're gonna lock up. Here we go, the Irish sweep across the ropes. And then, uh oh, there we go. Erie then took out the poor baby. The put that took out Alex. I like it. That's classic. See, Erie was just getting her mind together. And let's see what we got here. Cross body. Oh, nice splash right there. Springboard right there. One thing I like about Maxine, baby, is because she always got the nice little springboards going on here. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Here we go. Crop another one. They crowded check one more time, and they got the one more time.
And look there, Alex is just trying to get out the ring and then uh, area ain't gonna go nowhere. She said, no, 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 not in my half. And Alex is getting up. Oh, what we see here? Ooh, what that a John gets it was, baby. That was a German. Jesus, keep me, Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, the clap, oh my goodness, they, they're chanting one more time. Come on, baby, let me see one more time. And then I little drop the head, but drop to the stomach. Let's see if we can do it one more time, baby, one more time. Uh-oh, here we go. Wait a minute, is she going to do it? Is she going to do it? She picked up Polo Alex. All that strength the poor baby has. We just try and get there to work, baby. That's it. Oh, wait a minute. Alex just shoved it in a punch. Here we go. Another punch right there, baby. She said, oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at poor little baby. There we go. Yes. Oh, wait. So, what we see? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sharpshooter. There it is, baby. The sharpshooter. There it is, baby. The sharpshooter. Come on, baby, let's see what we got here. What you, what we, you can see a tap out here, baby. We can see it. We can see it. Alex gonna tap out to the shop shoot. I feel it, baby. That, my ladies and gentlemen, the good old Erie is making everybody proud up there in the British Columbia because she's doing the shop shooter, baby. That's what she's gonna do, the shop shooter. She try to go to the rope, but she can't go to the rope, baby. You out in the middle. What you gonna do, baby? The one from British Columbia is doing the sharpshooter, and Maxine is outside of the ring, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we see here? Let, what, wait a minute, she just, she going to the, is she, oh, wait a minute. Do can we see a tap out, oh, she grabbed the rope, my goodness. Not the pole thing, she, just, she got the rope, baby. And the referee counting the one and the two, baby. And we're going to see what we got here. Oh, my goodness. She broke the sharpshooter. She had no choice but to break it, baby. And ladies and gentlemen, the back of Paul Alex is just going, it's just going through some things, baby. It just, it just, it just hurt. That's what happened. It hurt. That's what happened when you get there. That's what happened when you get the sharpshooter from a native from British Columbia, Canada. And here come Alex just getting up groggy. And both these competitors are, are starting to feel it in the, in the, in the Ooh, but that, there it is, baby. The but that can need, baby. That's it. A ball game. That's it right there. The, 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 the fate and everything is the hell I'm fretting and everything. Here we go going for the cover. One, two, and a no, baby, no. Alex is, is, is a very tough cookie. That's what she is. She's, she's a tough little piece of cornbread that you get on the end, baby. That's the one that always stay in the oven because she's not going to get there. She's almost there. So Erin has to figure out what she got to do to end it. Alex do with the Africa. Ooh, that's it, baby. Oh, my goodness, that's it, baby. That's the ball game right there. Alex had to go for desperation. That's what it is. That's what you have to do in wrestling. You got to do the desperation, baby. The referee said she didn't see it and then it's going on here. And then Alex, I was about to pick her up. And let's see the, the uh oh here we go, here we go, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go, my goodness, baby, that's it, that's it, four, oh, baby, that's it, oh, my goodness, the knee to the face, baby, that's it, whew, that hurt that anatomy.
That's one bowl of chili I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with. That's too spicy. That's a spicy combo, baby. And then she take out Maxine off the ring and then oh my goodness. Wait a minute, I think we need to someone need to check up on poor Maxine because I think she hit her head on the way out there. Maybe I should go out there, baby. I need to go and see what she gonna do. What you gonna do, baby? But wait a minute, Alex. There's one thing you got to understand, baby, is that you need to not be distracted. Wait a minute, what we see here? Going to the ropes. Wait a minute, she rolled out the clothesline. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, suplex, baby, suplex. My goodness, baby, that's a wonderful suplex there, baby. That is another suplex. They've got to check on Maxine there, baby. Maxine doing just fine. Okay. Everybody's doing just fine. And then here come Alex just checking her prey. That's what she got to do. She got to get the victory. That's what she going to do. Alex going to get the victory right here, baby. That's it right there. And wait a minute. What we see here? Whoa, wait a minute. The Cyber Pillix, baby. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that's it. That's it, baby. That's it. Here's the cover, ladies and gentlemen. We can see it right here. Come on. One, two, and a three. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. That's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Ring the bell. Ring the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Alexa Zlatkis. Throughout this country, Dusty Rhodes is recognized everywhere because of his hats, not his eyes. I actually seen Ric Flair out here laying down in a spasm of some sort. Kicking his legs and laying down in a spasm. Ladies and gentlemen, was that a good one or what, ladies and gentlemen? I I, I apologize, apologize, baby. Was that a good one or what? You know, best of good 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 job to those competitors. That's what wrestling is all about, baby. That's what the wrestling is all about. Next time, baby. Next time, Erie. You're gonna get it next time, baby. That's all you got to do next time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to uh, do a little commercial break. And I think my friend here is, uh, is going to explain to y'all what's going on, baby. Is you ready? <clears throat> here we go. Let me give you this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, we have the Jazz Club located directly behind the VWE Arena. We also would like to thank Absil Nico Designs, owned by Lily Leandro Lancaster. Ah, do you want to learn more about your favorite SL wrestlers in Second Life? HTTP colon slash slash tyrusthenova.blogspot.com Has your information on your favorite SL wrestlers, updated weekly with new interviews. If you're interested, contact Tyrus, the Nova Cerebrian world. Team Wildfire! Ladies and gentlemen, are you looking, are you looking to up your arsenal of Blazing Hot videos? Team Wildfire can make that happen with 100% custom videos as well as the Fire Package. Uh, catch our classes on www.youtube.com forward slash Lyra Team Wildfire. Or you can just contact Lyra Phoenix or Captain Falcon. Team Wildfire, it's time to burn. Ladies and gentlemen, get like me, Big Baby Animations, baby. By Derek Colt, giving you brand new animation and cut the moves in the world of professional wrestling and second life. For more information, you better contact that brother, Derek Colt, in the world, in the world baby. Yeah, get the cornbread and everything. And don't forget Club Galaxy. At Club Galaxy, our aim is to be the best that we can possibly be while 
having fun doing it. Our staff is always looking to grow so that we can continue to be the best that we can. And with that said, we are always looking for new and exciting talent to help us do that. Whether you are a DJ, a host, or something you need to offer us in our relaxed atmosphere, we are looking for you. When you come to visit us at Club Galaxy, located on the Three River Sim, you will find friendly, fun-loving people looking to have a blast, listening to the awesome tunes our DJs are playing from a variety of categories, including any requests that you have. So come on, join us at Club Galaxy and be ready to have some fun. Open seven days a week, anywhere from 10 a.m. SLT to 10 p.m. Hope to see you there. For more information, please contact John Struck, Strucker 2 resident, or Nikki Struck, Nikki Zhang, or Alicia T. Michaels. Pulse Moneybags Trice. Ladies and gentlemen, Fin for Desire is located on the, at the Career Sim. It's a club with nightly events and DJs, some of them your favorite wrestlers in BWE on staff. Sin for Desire is one of your stops for fun, dance, music, and boogie woogie. We also have the mall featuring a variety of different shops and stores located across the club. Simple desire. Your leaders in entertainment. Not only is Voodoo Copperstone a wrestler, he is also a DJ. From blues to some of those kick-ass rock and roll here in Second Life. Apparently as much as such places as Fogbound Fog Bound Blues, Toby's Juke Joint, Sinful Desires, and even on the web at www. Dot, uh, 474themix.com and 965The Noise. Guaranteed fun, great music, and great people. Tune in, lock on, and bring those requests. Even join this group, fans and friends of DJ Voodoo. For all your updated info, all you need to do is ask. He'll keep you dancing, headbanging, and just plain rocking. At VWE.cc, updated regularly with results and exclusive interviews as well as videos and merchandise of your favorite superstars and bombshells. Y'all met the week of VWE? Shame on y'all. Y'all want to know more about what's going on within the VW Nation? Catch up on our site. Yes. Your one-stop shop for everything VWE, baby. VWE.cc. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you for coming to VWE tonight as we put on your for your entertainment. Please feel free to donate any possible lindens behind this commentary table in the collection box behind us. You know, just forget all the amp and the going dogs. Any and all donations are certainly appreciated. But you know, if you've been looking for a way to promote yourself on your or your place of business outside the normal means of simple ad boards or wasting your money on classifieds, <clears throat> if you want your products or services to be seen or heard in front of live audience as well as on demand, VWE Wrestling is now offering new sponsorship packages. Sponsoring the VWE is a great way to promote your products and services as we promote you through our arena, on our website, during our two weekly live shows, and on our show replays. So please feel free to contact Ash Cuero, Frankie Huntress, or Austin Knight. Austin. Austin Knight, no spaces, for packaging prices. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is our commercial for this evening. So how many of you all are enjoying yourself so far? Can you believe you said that in just one space, baby? I died. I'm trying to tell you. We're just, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this, baby? What's, what's going on here? A uh, video. Let's see what this says, baby. So apparently, apparently, I'm uh, accompanied by uh, Austin Knight. Uh, Mr. Knight, uh, how are you doing, sir? 
I do much better if people actually stayed to do their jobs in this place. But as a professional I am, I will be covering. So you're not here all night alone. No, oh, well, 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 thank you so much. I, I, I really appreciate it. You know, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, what, did he just talk about our stuff? I think he did. Well, we're just going to keep that, we're just going to keep that throughout there. So, all right. So, you know, you're talking about business and things of such, you know, people not doing their jobs. So, um, <clears throat> then let's do our job. Let, 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 let's. Oh, before we continue, there was something that happened during the break that was brought to my attention that was recorded. Oh, well, uh, let's see what we can roll film. I mean, Vince, seriously, I can't tell the difference between the both of them. Not unless they're standing like nose to no nose. And, oh, God. Vince, you know, I out of anyone here, I should be able to... Oh. Well, look who it is, my so-called friends. I'm in the middle of dealing with someone trying to steal my identity, and I can't even count on the people who know me best to have my back. You're pathetic. Little Miss Maxine pissed off because the new sheriff in town isn't wrapped around her little finger like Ben Bay was. And he's making it quite clear to everyone that she can't manipulate the powers uh... that he And you, my tag team partner. The person who's supposed to have my back when someone is attacking me. I'm glad they dissolved the tag team title so I don't have to carry you anymore. I don't need you. I don't need either of you. Why, you little disrespectful little... <coughs> Get off me! So this is how you treat a friend? You attack them for letting you know how they feel? You want to fight? Fine, I'll go talk to Austin. Vince, no! Oh, fine. You try to be us and figure out which is which. So forgive us for not wanting to castrate the wrong one. You want to be a jerk, Ashron? Fine. Forget you! Ladies and gentlemen, that was just, that, 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 first of all, that was just respectful. You're not going to lay your hands on a woman, and then there we go. So Vince, eat the wood. That, that, what you going, what you going to do about this? What you going to do about this, baby? Well, Mr. Nightfire had contacted me just before I came out here. And, as per his request, for our main event, it will be Vince Easterwood versus Asher on Nightfire, so they can settle their differences. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, we're going to have, we're going to stand up this one to the wall. So Vince, the gentleman, eat the wood. He was a true gentleman because he was looking after her. Vince is the voodoo king after my night fire. Hit the night, baby. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to that. But, without further ado, we do have uh, Beat the Clot, the first match of the Beat the Clot Challenge between Bryce Ketterly and Jeffrey Fireguard right now, if you won't mind. No, 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 I, I, it is my honor. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the following match is the Beat the Clock Challenge. So from Clemson, South Carolina, baby, weighing in at 208 pounds, he is perfection, the right Kettley.
And then, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from Houston, Texas, home at the Beef Brisket, baby, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the Houston Hatter, John Mr. Rock. Well, this will be an interesting challenge, as even though Mr. Strzok has the size and weight advantage, Bryce Curry, even though is a former world champion here, and is out almost every other belt that you can hold here. Yes, yeah, that is true right there, but also the, the, a lot is on the line. That's how I feel right now. A lot is going to be on the line. So, so I, I, I got to say, now, you being the, the majority, what is that word? What is that word, baby? You being the, the majority, majority shareholder. Yes, majority shareholder, baby. So, this also, so you think that this is going to be the best thing, what's best for, I don't want to say what's best for business, but what's best for both of them. Competition is always what's best for these shows. So, whatever in here, in here will be best for us. Well, that, that is also true. And seeing that uh, Mr. Bryce Kennedy is also a former World Heavyweight Champion. That's what he is, baby. That he is a former heavyweight, World Heavyweight Champion. So, I know without a shadow of a doubt, this is going to be a cakewalk. But then again, the Houston Hazard, his name is not the Houston Hazard for nothing, baby. He knows how to brawl and get things down dirty. Well, there's no love lost between these two. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we got a lock up going on right here. Here we go with the Bryce Kennedy and the Houston Hazard. Apparently, his new name, the uh, uh, Bryce Kennedy, is now called the Crisco Kid, baby. The Crisco Kid. But then again, like I said, these two gentlemen know how to get things done in a good timing, orderly fashion. But the thing of it is, it's like it's a lot on the line for Mr. Kennedy. Here we go, we got a uh, Houston Hazard picking up Mr. Kennedy right now. And here we go, we're gonna see what we got what he gonna got what he got in the store. Here we go, classic wrestling locker. That's it, little classic. And then he take it oh I see what he's doing, he's taking him to the corner, baby. That's what he's doing, he's taking him to the corner. Well so far it looks like the size advantage is well into play into this match. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And then we got here, oh my goodness, here we go, John Strunk giving those nice corner gut punches. Oh, you better not let, give him too much time to recover. That That is also true. As a former world champion, he knows how to handle high pressure situations. That is true. Being a former world champion, it means you got the smarts, you got the agility, and you got the brain as well as the brawn, baby. Uh oh, what do you got going on here? Here we go. Oh, snake eyes going right there. John Struck giving the snake eyes to Bryce Kettley. Well, right there, you can't discount John Struck, even though he doesn't have the same achievements. He has that size and to back him up. But then, they, but then again, size does not matter. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, baby. Let's just hope for Mr. Ketterly, it's not on him. Well, you got that right.
And here we go, John giving the nice little average whip to Mr. Kettley. And then a nice drop kick. Oh, Mr. Kettley giving the drop kick to the face. Good grief. And then he getting up thrown. And then another drop kick. Good Lord Almighty. And Mr. Don Thuck is eating the thing like it's nothing but a bowl of chili and cornbread in the morning, baby. And another drop kick to the face. And then here we go, Bright going for the cover one. Then the kick out at one, baby. Well, this shows a really big uphill battle for Mr. Kettley. Even though three drop kicks right to his face, he only could keep him down for a one count. But see, that's the thing, Mr. Kettley. See, Kettley, he 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 knows what he has to do. He has to. He's testing the. He's testing the waters, man. That's all he's doing. He's testing the waters. See, watch. Here we go. Another. Here we go. Average whip. And uh oh, uh oh, oh, never mind. Gorilla, is it a gorilla prayer slam? Looks like he's wanting to show off. Is he's holding up them? They're quite the, on time. The threat of the big man, gorilla prayer slam, baby. Whoo! Now that's a, that's, think of all that height that's going down, falling on your back. Well, it's a good strategy right here. If he can keep Bryce down and out of the air, he gains quite an advantage. Oh, wait a minute. What's he got here? Well, ooh, and the elbow to the leg. He's going to take out the leg of Mr. Bryce Kelly. My goodness, nice little foot drag. What's he going to do? He's going to do it again? Yes, he is. And there we go. Hey, here we go with DDT right there. Ooh. Oh, that's quite damaging because it can hyperstand your knee. You know he has a lot less experience than Bryce. He is it, that's getting a sound strategy. That is right. That isn't that, that actually is true. That's actually true. And here we go, Iris went to the Iris went to the ropes, baby. Here we go. And then the oh a drop kick to the another drop kick. Oh, I don't know if that was a wise idea though. With that work on his leg, which also is a leg that was broken when Asher and Nightfire debuted here. So, Ooh. it's quite his weak spot. Well, at least he found it. That's, that's the thing. Point out the weak spot, so that way the opponent can't get up. Oh, once again, Mr. Shruck is showing his durability as he's shrugging off most of Bryce's attack. Ooh, but uh, he counters that corner splash, and he's got him dazed. And nicely executed flying clothesline to take down the, the big Mr. Struck. And it's a one, a two, and no, it's only a two count. Uh, if Bryce does use his experience, he definitely should keep Mr. Struck down. Because the more he's vertical, the more he can get the advantage back in the snap of a second.
Ooh, and a devastating right as he almost knocks him out of his boots. Once again, Mr. Strzok is shrugging off almost everything Bryce can send after him and coming right back with double the power. And now he locks on an STF. This is quite a predicament. With his taller frame, he can pull Bryce back a lot farther than someone his size. Uh, well, it does. Come on, baby. He just going to Come on. He just got to what you going to do, baby? What you going to do? Say my name, baby. Say his name. Say his name, baby. Wait a minute. What the? It was illegal theft right there. Lord Jesus. Come on here. I don't know. I just saw Mr. Shark let go of the hold. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> One thing about Bryce Cadley, he's a former World Heavyweight Champion, but I never said he was a clean World Heavyweight Champion, baby. And if Bryce Cadley pushes him in there, ooh, what a nice kick right there by Mr. Struck. Well, they might be collecting his teeth over on the ramp over there after this match. Well, let's just hope that they'll be, he'll be eating nothing, anything solid. And then we're going to see, here we go with the pin to the leg. Here we go, pin. We can see a cover here. One, two, and the, oh. And the kick out at two, baby. Despite the ferocity and power Mr. Struck is putting behind his attacks, he just can't seem to be able to keep Bryce down for that three count. And here he comes back with a nice, nice drop. Whew, that's a nice drop kick there. I don't know what it is about Bryce, but he always got these drop kicks just out of nowhere. It's just picture perfect. There we go. One, two, and then, oh, damn. And then we got Bryce Kennedy just telling him to stay down, baby. Just stay down. And this is where the disadvantage to uh, Mr. Kennedy is. This is a beat the clock, so the longer this match goes, the less likely he'll be able to get win this challenge when Jeffrey has his match next week. And there you go. Next week right there. And we'll, oh, some more. We, we, we got here. Some more and drop, baby. Some more and drop right there to Bryce. And again, if he loses this match, it'll be just a formality next week as well. Oh, my goodness. Bryce has to do something to get on his feet so he can get this victory because the, it, time is ticking, baby. Time is ticking. This ain't a cake, baby. This ain't a cake. This ain't cornbread. This ain't ice cream. This ain't hot dog, baby. You got to do this quick and fast. And here we go. John Struck. Here we go. Picking up rice. I need another amp. And here we go. Iris Whip. And oh, he rolled out the way. <laughs> Try to go for Larry. Then he rolled out the way. Mr. Bryce rolled out the way. Uh-oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We can see it. Is this it? 
the perfect cut, baby. The Crisco cut, the idiot. And here we go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner. Mr. Bryce Kennedy. <laughs> Crisco kid. <laughs> Yes, he has got his victory now. Checking in the back as we get the official time for this matchup. And this was 12 minutes and 35 seconds. Say that time one more time, baby, so that way I can put it in my notes. 12 minutes and 35 seconds. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The time is 12 minutes and 35 seconds. Let us hope that um, Mr. Jeff can read, can beat that clock, baby, because if he can beat that clock, then boom, we got ourselves a good match at six feet under. Well, despite what Mr. Shrug tried, he couldn't knock Bryce Kelly off his path towards the grid title tonight. No, that is exactly right. No, 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 no. My thing is, I just want to see how, how, how Jeffrey going to act for next week because that's going to be something. And, 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 and let's just hope we can see who he's who going to be facing next week. Well... I don't see much luck for Mr. Ketterly because 12 minutes and 35 seconds is quite long compared to someone with the speed of a Jeffrey's fire guard. Mr. Fire Guard is indeed a speed demon. That's what he is. He's a speedy little demon, a little fast, a little speedy Gonzalez. But I promise you, let's, we will have to see if it's going to beat the clock. Well, it seems like um, the good Miss Red Wings seems to have something to say. I wonder if this has anything to do with last week where it seemed her good sidekick was kidnapped. Well, since Mr. Blackhawk's not talk, I'll also read for her. Thank you. Citizens of the VWE, I need your help. I come to you, citizens, not as a hero, but as someone who is in need of some help. Last week, my sidekick, Hypernova, was kidnapped by some unknown persona. I'm currently on a search for Hypernova throughout the entire grid, and more from the top of the Phoenix Path. Through the city of careers. Over to Pass Square. Past the Wind Cove. To asking for help at the HQ located at Alpha Centauri. Back down here to the Olympus Coliseum at the Agard Lands.
And still, no sign of Hypernova. So, citizens of the VWE, I need your help. Help me find Hypernova, wherever she is. As I have continued my search, you all help me by giving me certain location coordinates by my locator. It's a one-of-a-kind tag, and I have retrieved from a friend. The Frequent Ace Bookmark Events Tracker. I've only used it for a short time, but please, wherever you see her, send me her location. That is all, citizens. For now, I have to continue my show. Well, it seems, despite her best efforts, the heroic Miss Redwing has had no luck finding her sidekick. And despite our best efforts, we have no clue of where the signal came from that was broadcast during her match of Hypernova's kidnap. Though we wish Miss Redwing the best of luck in her search. That is indeed exactly right. So, you know, best of luck. Hope everything goes well. And um, hopefully you can find your sidekick because you, uh, as I, I hope that, you know, just just let's, let's hope for the best. Well, now we got the match for the Martinez name. So would you like to do this? Uh, it would it would be my honor. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Martinez name. Introducing first from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 145 pounds, Lily Martinez. Oh, well, if anyone remembers back, it was Lily that brought up this challenge for the Martinez name. As she felt that the Martinez name should be hers, as she feels she's the more successful Martinez sister. Well, being that as it may, you know, I mean, it's it's. Oh, everyone is entitled, and oh, alright, hopefully she didn't get singed and burned, alright, here we go. And as she waiting for her, as she waiting, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, and also from the parts unknown, baby, my girl Isabel. Martinez. Well, one thing for sure, tonight will be the last time we 
hear one of those ladies be called Martinez. And the thing of it is, is like, I don't even want any of them to not have it. It's, it's like, really? Oh, because they're both like, the be- they, they're really good. Well, though they usually are a great team, one thing that always seems to set them apart is Lily's ego. She always wants all the pitch, all the fame, and it seems even the family name is in her targets now. That is exactly right, baby. Oh, here we go with a nice hard elbow right there, Lily giving it to the Isabella. It's a bell. I apologize. Jeez, man. It, 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 it's just so hard. These women are really fighting it, duking it out, because they want to keep the Martinez name. Oh, well, nice drop toehold right there. I guess it's right what they say. No one fights harder than family. Indeed. Blood is thicker than water. Oh, what a nice corner chop right there. What a nice chop to the, in the, well, you know what I mean. Chop to the chest. <clears throat> a little tongue-tied, I see. Oh, another chop right there. Now let's see what Lily got. What do we have Lily doing? Oh, wait a minute. And, ooh, Isabelle with the backbreaker. No, it, it's not a cat fight now. It's not a cat fight yet. And Isabella, well, Isabella, ah, yeah, tongue tied again. Isabella with the ring, ro- with the rope, shot to the ropes, and a back body drop outside the. Ooh, not yet. Well, Lily landed Carter. on the uh, apron. She landed on the apron. Whew. Oh, what? Uh oh, what the? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Wait a minute. You're not going to do it out on my table. Mm-mm. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Oof. Oof. Wait a minute, baby. Okay, get, get, that's right. Get back in the ring, baby, because you're not going to do this here on my table. Please don't do it on my table, please. You know, they are just fighting. They fighting dirty. What, 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 Lily got, what Lily got going on here? Ooh! Ooh never mind. And a clothesline right there. Yes, baby. Well, it seems yes, like baby. as family members and former tattoo partners, they seem to know everything the other one will try to accomplish. And see, that's the problem with family and that, that are competitive because you know that every move, and so therefore you have to come up with some new stuff. And that, 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 that's what I have to learn. I had to learn it the hard way, baby. And wait a minute, what we see here? Oh my goodness, what the hell? Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Not a little flip, something flip one, two. Oh man, wait a minute. Uh oh, what Lily got? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. No, I didn't the fall away slam, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-mm. Don't you put me in that in the match against the bell. I don't want that. Mm-mm. No, no man, no sir. And a hip toss. Ooh. Just tossed in the ring. Just manhandling her. Like a fat piece of bacon. And just slamming her head onto the corner. That's, that's, that's ignorant, baby. That's ignorant. Well, it seems Miss Isabel is finally being the one to get the advantage in this match. Uh oh, what we see here? Oh, and she moved out the way. Ooh. And just as we say that, the momentum switches again. And see, the thing that that's what they have to do. They know each other by in the back of the hand. They know each other. like they know a recipe for cornbread. They know a recipe for cake. They just they gotta come up with something new. They gotta come up with something new. And going right to work on that leg. And see, that's the thing with, 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 with Isabel. You have to work on the leg because that's that's her power. That's the power of a big person, of a tall person.
And as someone, expected from someone who is the longest reigning women's champion, she is not letting up one bit. Exactly. And here we go with the, with the, with the cover one. And see, and with the kick out at one, baby. And once again, a nice kick to the back of her knee. Oh my goodness, here we go with the... Woo! I like that, baby! Oh, what a natural vessel to a face butter! Ladies and gentlemen, that's, this is my father. Ooh, I'm telling you. See, Lily just wants to get... She wants that name. She wants to hold that legacy to do herself. And here we go. Wait a minute, what we got here? Here's a cover one. Two and a kick out at two, baby. Well, she's finally moved past one and gone to two. That she is one step closer. Though. That two, that is very true. Oh, wait a minute, kick to the ribs. Ooh, another one. Chuck Norris would be happy, baby. Oh, wait a minute, what we got here? Oh, wait a minute. Whoo! She reversed that bulldog into the chicken wing. I, you know what? I want some chicken wings right now. And if I got some chicken wings and, 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 and cornbread and chili, baby. Anyway, here we go. My goodness, there's a nice little chicken wing right there. Double arm, as a matter of fact. Oh, wait a minute. She reversed that a small package. We could see it right there. One, two, and the ooh. Oh my goodness, great to like that's a nasty Larry. That's a that's a, that's a nice little Larry right there. That's a finger licking good. Here we go with the cover one, two, and a kick out at two. Jesus, man, that's a, I wish we could see the replay of that that, that Larry. That just who I'm gonna took her head off. And then here she go picking her up with an Irish whip, and that showed a good grief. Almost sent her halfway to the backstage with that one. It's pretty much that was the ooh. I, I can't. Mm -mm. You want to play football with her? It's dangerous anytime she leaves her feet. Good grief! Uh oh, what we see here? No, really? Oh my goodness! Back suplex right there. That's one way to get their sister in the ring. And here we go with the Irish whip. She's going to go for the back body. Ooh, nice little reversal to the kick there. And she got, she finally got Isabel on one knee. Wait a minute. She reversed the kick there and go for the end of Gurney. There go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's she doing? She's going to pin them both legs. What's she going to do? What's she going to do, baby? You going to pin both of them legs. Ooh, that's a nice little pin there. One, two. I mean, mm. Uh, that wasn't the best tactic. Despite her experience, she was quite a bit in the ropes there. That's right, indeed she was. Indeed she was, baby. Indeed she was. Oh, what's she about to do here? Lily about to go on the turnbuckle, baby. What you about to do, baby? Come on here, baby girl. What you gonna do, baby? Uh-oh, what we gonna see? And Isabel... Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Oh, my good, What the... Picked her up by her head. Good Lord Almighty. What the... Uh, I, I, and just and throws her in the... Oh, so good. Well, that's just a... Whew. I just, I can't even, I don't know, if, ooh, that just, that's wrong, baby, that's wrong. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's a setup usually for her finisher. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, this is a ball game, ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is about to happen. 
Now to finish her. And the ladies and gentlemen, not the lobotomy. Wait a minute. Long blower. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Quite impressive. I've not seen anyone counter that move like that. That especially well, see the thing about Lily is that Lily has speed, baby, and, and Isabel has strength. You put them two together, that's the best tag team in the world in the, in the female division. But you put them separate, it's another story. Well, she definitely benefited here from wait, 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 what's, what, 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 what's she got? What she got? What she got right here? That's what the what that she got? I just saw her fixing her boo, really. Fixing her boo, dude. She's getting overacting a lot. What you talking about? That's a that's a what the oh, get the clothesline, bitch! Wait a minute. Uh oh, what this here, baby? Uh oh. Whoa, she threw the. See, I told you I wasn't going through nothing. That's the. See, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, T Bone Suplex. You know what? I wouldn't mind a last little T Bone Suplex. Do we have any T Bone Steaks anywhere? Anybody got no, any T Bone don't. Steaks, baby? Okay, now get not. And then here we go, Lily just rolling out of the ring, baby. And look at this, this nice little cat and mouse game. Whee! Come on, get that mouse. Get that mouse. Uh-oh. The rope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's it. You got caught. Sorry, baby. You got caught in the rib breaker. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't. Oh, this, this is, is it. Best tactic. Could we see it? Oh, wait a minute, reverse back body drop, baby. She may know who her sister, but her ego once again gets in her way. She was a little too sure of herself. She could actually lift Isabel. That is true. You have, like I said, strength and speed, baby. One had the speed, one had got the strength. One got the guns, one got the speed. Well, I told her to the rope, oh my, what, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, can you explain the, what, what's he about to get? Can you explain that? Well, she's just catching her she breath. Can. She's catching her breath, I don't think what the, okay, if you say so. I gotta listen to her, not, so you mean to tell me catching her breath is that thing? What is that shiny thing in the, on, on, in the ring? Well, definitely the ref should get that out of the ring, as it could be a hazard. Yeah, I have it. I have it mean nothing. So uh, I hope the referee. Come on, ref, put that thing out. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh. And quite a punch from Luis Martinez. She could win a Golden Glove. Golden Glove. Oh my goodness. Down go Fraser. Down go Fraser, baby. And look at this. Look at this. You you mean to tell me that this this is not how you do it? This ain't the honor, baby. This ain't the honor. This ain't the honor holding a family name right there. Not like this. One, two. Oh, not this way. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and cheater, Lily Martinez. <laughs> well, you did say that to win this match, I have to pull out something new, and Lily Martinez pulled out, showing us all her fantastic new striking ability and she put, did that fantastic like haymaker that knocked out Isabel so let me you don't no, no, no. first of all <clears throat> first of all there's something that was something in there and I'm telling you right now because her hand did not just become white and then back to her regular color baby that ain't that no 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 there's going to have to be some investigation you don't know what I'm talking about what we're talking about got ripped off earlier in the match so that it, was excuse me, but I, Oh, this is what I call a conspiracy, baby. This ain't the right thing. This ain't the right thing. Huh. It's okay, Isabel. You gonna get her. Well, no matter what you think, now Miss Isabel is just Miss Isabel, as Lily <sighs> Martinez is the only Martinez sister in the VWE now. <sighs> what we gonna see for Isabel?
Well, with that, that's we got one more um, advertisement break before the main event. <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand something. This is this is this is the Jazz Club, located directly beside the VWE. And the Abfil Nico Design owned by Liliandra Lancaster. You want to know more about your favorite SO that's love in Second Life? Come on down to HTTP colon slash slash Tyrus the Nova by blogspot.com. That has your information on your favorite SO wrestlers. Update weekly with new interviews. If you want, if you're interested, come on, contact Tyrus the Nova Survivor in World. Come on, Team Wildfire. Ladies and gentlemen, are you looking to are you looking to up your arsenal of blazing hot videos? Team Wildfire can make that happen, baby, with a hundred percent custom videos as well as the fire package. Catch our classes on www.youtube.com forward slash Lyra the Team Wildfire, baby. So you can contact Lyra Phoenix for Captain Falcon. Team Wildfire, it's time to burn, baby, burn. And then you got your Get Like Me Big Baby Animations by Derek Cole, giving you brand new animations and custom moves in the world of professional wrestling and Second Life. For more information, contact Derek Cole in World. Club Galaxy. At Club Galaxy, our aim is to be the best that we can possibly be while having fun doing it. Our staff is always looking to grow so that we can continue to be the best that we can. And with that said, we are looking for, for new and exciting talent to help us do that. Whether you're a DJ, a host, or something unique to offer us in our related atmosphere, we are looking for you. Huh. When you come to visit us at Club Galaxy, located on the Three River Sim, you will find friendly, fun, loving people looking to have a blast listening to the awesome tunes of our DJs. You know, our DJs are playing from a variety of categories, including any requests that you can have. So come on down, join us at Club Galaxy, and be ready to have some fun. Open seven days a week anywhere from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. SLT. Hope to see you there. So if you want more information, contact John Struck, Strucker 2 resident, Nikki Struck, or Alicia T. Michaels. Huh. Sinful Desires, located at the Career Sim. You know, it's a club with nightly events and DJs, including some of your favorite wrestlers from BWE on staff. Sinful Desires is one of your top, is one of your one stop for fun, dance, and music. We also have a mall featuring a variety of different shops and stores located across this club. Sinful Desires, your leaders, and entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, give it to my boy, Le Voodoo Capathone. He not only is a wrestler, but he's also a DJ, baby. From Blue, the some of those kick out of rock and roll here on Second Life. Apparently, apparently, he's appearing at such places as Foghound Blue. Oh, I'm sorry, Cooper. Yes, Cooper. I apologize, I apologize. Cooper Stone. Yeah. Toby Juke Joint, Sinful Desires, and even on the Web. At www.474themix.com and 965 The Noise. Guaranteed fun, great music, and great people. Tune in, lock on, and bring those requests. Even join his group, fans and friends of DJ Voodoo. For all the information, all you got to do is ask, baby. He'll keep you dancing, headbanging, or just playing rocking. Voodoo Cooper Stone, baby. And then you got BWE.cc, updated regularly with results and inclusive interviews, as well as videos and merchandise of your favorite superstars and boxes. Mr. Match of, w of BWE, you want to know more about what's going on within the BWE Nation? Come on, catch up on our site, baby. Yeah, the one-stop shop for everything BWE. BWE.cc. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to VWE tonight as we put on for your entertainment. Please feel free to donate any possible engines behind this commentary table in the collection box behind us. <clears throat> any and all donations are certainly appreciated. If you've been looking for a way to promote yourself or your place of business outside the normal means of simple ad boards or wasting your money on classifieds, if you want your products or services to be seen and heard, in front of live audiences as well as on demand, 
VWE Virtual Wrestling Entertainment is now offering new sponsorship packages. Sponsoring the VWE is a great way to promote your products and services as we promote you through our arena and on our website during our two weekly live shows and on our show replays. So come on, feel free to contact Ash Cuervo, named Frankie Huntress, or Austin Knight, you know, this guy right next to me, for uh, pricing packages. You know, something, I've, I've got a question. How, what, what would happen if I want to, you know, advertise the uh, the, uh, the American Dreams uh, crab sack? What do I got to do, baby? How much do I got to do? Well, you got to come to me or Ash Cuervo, and we'll give you the prices and the packages. Okay, that could work. You know, I'm just gonna do some, gonna do the American Dream cornbread and chili. Me and me and a good friend with the Derek Cook gonna do that for us, baby. High five. And now that we're in the main event, I'll be handling the. You see, he's so rude. That's all he is. He's just so rude. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, he's going right at it. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Drop kick to the face and another drop kick. And poor little voodoo. My goodness, baby. That poor thing right there. So, uh, 
What the what, hell what? was that? What kind well, of profession the... is this? The bell had what? not even rang. I was in there what? to do a job, and here he comes running in, and I could have been hit. Let me let me explain something to you. See, 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 but you have to understand, baby. The things that you got to understand. See, this is what this is what America all about, baby. He wanted to do what he had to do in order to look after the people. And see, this is a good thing about Mr. V Mr. Easterwood, right there with a the leg extension, right there. Come on there, baby, come on. I don't care what he wanted. I don't care about the age with I don't care about anything. This is my ring, this is my arena. If he does things as I want them to be done. Well, see, I'm sorry, but there's th th something that you can't understand, baby. That's what he's doing. He just, he did what, what he thought was right. And at the time, at least he was safe. Because if you went safe outside, shut up, one, and he goes for the cover. See, see, that's what you understand, baby. He doing what the fans want. And see, I know that you are a good man of business. That's what it is, baby. You are a good man of business. I know you want to do what the fact what, what the fans want. That's why they come here every 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 week, every so, baby. Oh wait a minute, here we go. Night after round right here, going for the shove and then the shoulder block. Ooh. Well, it looks like that one's showing Mr. Easter his proper place now. <laughs> what, 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 what you mean proper place? As proper voice, I mean, as Ashron is a former World Heavyweight Champion, why Mr. Eastwood has not held any belts but the tag team belts. So his proper voice is below Mr. Nightfire. Be that as it may, but it doesn't matter because I, I, I have faith in, the, in, Mr., in, Mr., in Mr. Eastwood. I have faith in him. Come on here, Eastwood. Come on, give it to him. Uh oh, never mind. The snake eyes. Oh, the snake eyes by Mr. Asheron. Well, despite your faith, it's not doing much for against Mr. Nightfire. I guess you believe in that voodoo, voodoo, that voodoo foolishness in there, I take it. I don't believe in voodoo. I believe in skill, and that's what Mr. Ash uh, Nightfire has in bucket loads. Get him, get him. As you see, Mr. Nightfire is making sure. Mr. Easterwood will be not fine anytime soon. Because once you take out his legs, he can't fly, and he can't use his legs for leverage in any of his submission holds. See, this is why, this is why sometimes I always wanted to know where the hell is Mr. Cotton. See, you, you, you have to get rid of Cotton. He's the only one in the fallout club. Come on, Vince, you got this, baby. You got this. I'm a jury shareholder, not a babysitter. See, that's at the point. That ain't, that ain't the point. Oh, Lord. You're going to cover one, two. Well, despite this, what Mr. Easterwood said on the ramp of not wanting to fight Ashron, Mr. Ashron definitely wants to fight and bring the hurt to Mr. Easterwood. And that's fine, he could bring the hurt, and here we go! Here we go, cross body reversal! See, and, the, and the, see, that's the, that's the problem. Mr. Mr. Easterwood don't have to have beef with nobody. That's the problem.
And here we go, picking up Mythic. Come on here, face plot lock to act up on. That's it. That's it, baby. Uh oh, we gonna see a swinging neck breaker. There it is, swinging neck breaker, baby. Stay on him. Stay on him. Stay on him, baby. That's it. Come on, baby. Stay on him. Stay on him, baby. Kendra, definitely check that hold. I believe I see those hands below the chin. Ain't no hand below that. Come on, say my name. Say my name, baby. What you gonna do, baby? What you gonna do, Atron? What you gonna do, baby? Now, I'm pretty sure that was a blow the chin, and that would make it an illegal choke. But they have not an illegal choke. See, that's the problem. Come on, make sure you tap, baby. Come on, tap them. And he's got the ropes. Ref, make him break that hold. Come on there, come on. He had the ropes, and he held on. Oh, man, man. Stop your crying. Stop your whining. Whining. These are rules that are set in place for a reason. I ain't no rules ever that you've been on here talking about acting around you always wanted to put the head. What's going on? Why can't that? What happened? This was supposed to be good for business. This is good for business because it's wrestling, baby. What's good for business is they follow the rules, so neither of them are permanently injured, and I don't lose any superstars. Well, they hit the problem, though, but this never wanted to get involved. This never wanted to do anything. This was just a cool man that I go to church with every Sunday. He don't understand. But see, now you push them to the limit. After I push them to the limit, which is why we are here in this match right now. Well, Mr. Easterwood is signed as a wrestler. Wrestlers fight. Wrestlers compete in that ring. This isn't Sunday morning mass. This is a wrestling match. First of all, ain't no Sunday morning mass because I... And see there, this is a masterful headlock that shows the power behind the Voodoo King. Really? See, this is the problem. Come on, Vince. You got this, baby. Come on, Vince. See, despite all Mr. Easterwood's technical prowess, he is nothing but a rag doll in the hands of the Voodoo King. And then here we go, Voodoo just giving four arms to Mr. Easterwood. And then we go, here we go, I was ripped to the ropes. And then a big boot to the face to Mr. Vince. Come on, Vinny boy. This is over, ref. This is just formality. Count it. You know, see, now that would have definitely been a three count. The ref was a little slow getting down there. And the ref would be said to go getting down there. It was a two count. The referee is doing the best the job in the world. Kendra, you're doing wonderful, Kendra. Oh my goodness, what we see here? Oh, a nice little... Wait a minute. Here we go, DDT, baby! Pull his hair there to get that leverage. He ain't pulling no hair. Stop that whining. Stop that complaint. Stop making excuses. See, that's fine. Because Vince is all about the business tonight, baby. The boogie boogie man. And here we go. Come on, Vince. Get that wrist lock right there, Diddy. That's it right there. And a roundhouse kick right there. And they got a wrist lock to meet the Voodoo King. So what's up? So tell me about your Voodoo King now. Tell me about your Voodoo King now, Austin. What 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 happened to him? Did he getting hit? He getting his butt kicked? He getting what he deserved, baby. He getting what he deserved. It's far from over. Yeah, that's rededication, baby. That's it. Hallelujah. 
It'll take quite more than that to put down the voodoo king. I think that's what he gonna do. That actually had any real success. Well, see, that's what he gonna do. He he getting up right now. He gonna get on him like right on right. He gonna get on him like chili on cornbread, daddy. He gonna get him like a pig on a bread. And here we go. He gonna go on the top rope right there. Come on, baby. And we gonna see it. And a front flip leg drop, baby. And then come on, he got it. He got the, here we go, one, two. And that's a two count. Duh, down. Get him, get him. As I said, it'll take more than that to beat the Voodoo King. It don't take that long to get the Voodoo King, because I'm telling you, Vince got this thing in the bag, baby. Vince got this thing in the bag. See, the one thing about Mr. Voodoo King, you're going to work on the arm. That's all you got to do, just work on the arm. They're going to hammer lock. Bam! Well, don't forget, and, all the Voodoo King needs is just one arm to throw Mr. Easterwood around the ring. And then a death drop DDT. So tell me, tell me, Mr. Mr. V-Man, Mr. Austin, what's going on here? What's going on here is the end Ooh. of a uh, very temporary advantage. And Mr. Atheron, he looks like he's very, he looks like he's very upset now. As you see, despite his little advantage here, the Voodoo King is in just as much full power as he was since the beginning of the match. If he did see, come on, Vinny, see, uh, I have complete faith in Vince, I have complete faith in Mr. Easterwood, and, the, wait a minute, ooh, Springboard Vertical Suplex, baby, that's something new for Mr. Easterwood, oh, wait a minute, it's a referee now, uh-oh. Uh, what is the referee doing? She should know definitely not to be that close during a maneuver like that. Oh, Lord. Actually, this was um, Mr. Curex's hiring. We'll just have Mr. to get her. Well, despite the ref's little misplacement there, the Voodoo King is still in very much control. But see, that's the problem. The Voodoo King is very upset, but he knows what he has to do. And Mr. At and Mr. Ethan, we're going to the ropes. And here we go with a spine buster, baby. Spine buster. Oh, man. Come on here. That's it. And a one, oh, one, and a two, and a... Nope. I told you, Daddy. He ain't going to hit got He got one more left, baby. He still got some fight in him, baby. You ain't going to hit him. I'll have to give him credit. He has more resilience, and I'll give him credit for it. But you see that's only gonna delay this. You see that? You hear that? They're coming for you, baby. That's a call being unfair. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing here the Iris Whip right here. And then a standing, standing wizard, baby. That's it. And a roundhouse cue. That was good, baby. That was good. But he's in the ropes. He's going <sighs> in the square. Come on, pick him up, baby. Pick him up. That's, we're going to see it. Uh-oh. And then we go with a kick to the gut, baby. And then an invigory! See, Vince, Vince, that's it. Come on here, Vince. Come on, get the pin, baby. Get the pin, daddy. Come on, daddy. That's it. Come on, give with the pin. That's right. He gonna get it. Here we go. One, two, and the... Come on, the... Oh, nope, referee, nope. come on. Nope, two count. <sighs> we got to be fair. We got to be fair, baby. That's all we got to do. We got to be fair. That's how we do here. We got to be fair, baby. 
And if you look at someone cheating with the eye break right there. I don't know what you're talking about. simple palm thrust to the face. They don't know what you're talking about. They don't know what you're talking about. I don't even care what you want. Here we go. Death Drop DDT. Oh, Death Drop DDT right there, baby. They're always making up excuses. That's what it is, baby. They're making up excuses. Just learn to play the game. There's no excuse for talent, which Mr. <laughs> Nightfire has. And see, here we go. The, 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 oh, big splash there. And so does Mr. Easterwood. He's got talent too, baby. That's why he's still here. That's why he's on the main event. And then here we go. The after only talent he had was riding the Voodoo Kings back all the way to the tag team belts. Blah, blah, blah. That's all I hear is excuses, baby. And here we go, the Irish whip, come on. Uh-oh. No, this can't no, be. No, I got the hair. Is this sick? Oh, no. Oh! The all in slam, baby. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. That's and it. a one, a two, and a three. Nope! That's it, baby! I told you, baby! He ain't going there that far! Come on! Come on, baby! Come on! You can do it! 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 See, 2.9! 2.9! One more minute second, he'd have been gone! You may have kept out that, but it's time for this to be ended. See, ladies and gentlemen, come on, we need, he needs your support, he needs your support, definitely need your support, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, kick to the gut, oh no, woo! And that was definitely a low blow right there. It wasn't no low blow, five that excuses, I'ma tell you right now. Here we go. Oh my goodness, here we go. That's it. Bear the cross, baby, that's it. Come on, hit the cover, one, two, I told you, I told you, baby, I told you, I told you. That's what it's all about, the cover three. Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner! Ladies and gentlemen, Vent After Easterwood. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Well, does Mr. Easterwood look like a winner to you right now? Look at what Jesus did. Look at what Jesus did. I'm going to church. That's what Jesus would do. That's it. Hallelujah. All Jesus did is to prolong the beating he's going to be getting. Ain't no beating, baby. Wait, wait a minute. What the? What's going on here? Now what the hell is this? No, this can't be. It's time we settle this once and for all. You say you're the real Ashron. I say. See, that's clearly Remy in the ramp, not in the Asher. But see, the problem with it is that which one is the real one? Clearly the one that's been competing in the ring. The one under... No, 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 no. I don't, I don't believe that one bit, baby. That's blasphemy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I can tell you, anyone can put on a little fake press-on tattoos, find a skull mask and a Halloween shout, and wear some golf boots from Hot Topic and pretend to be the Voodoo King. Enough. You've caused enough chaos. It's time we settle this once and for all. 
you say you're the real Asheron? I say prove it. You and me at six feet under. In a match only the one true Asheron can walk away from. A New Orleans style buried alive match. Oh my god, baby. One man walks out the undisputed voodoo king. The other gets sealed inside a crypt to rot. Never to be heard from again. Settle it, Remy. I say I'll see you at six feet under. <laughs> oh, a little power trip, Mr. Remy up there is trying, but we're going to see clearly at six feet under who the real Asheron is. Oh my god. And no Maxine, no Vince Easterwood will be helping Remy betray their old friend in this match. I, right now, I'm speechless. A. Well, you better prepare a memorial speech, for because next week, we're going to be burying an imposter. And it's going to be over for Mr. Bramming. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was VWE Prime Time. And I am the VWE exclusive shareholder, Austin Knight. And this is some guy I hired. I'll s see you all at VWE. Yes, yes, yes. See you all very soon, baby. I love y'all. Come on down. We can have a nice little chat and greet y'all. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering. Hello, my name is Zarakan Yu, and hello, my name is Zarakan Yu, and I'm the founder of Zarakan Productions in Second Life. Over the years my company has had the great joy of filming many shows such as Wandering with Zarakan Yu, WWZY, Zarakan's Opinion Corner, Zok, 
Can I Shoot This, Sist, Adeline's Kitchen, Tony Blaze, and many more, but some of our proudest work has been our ongoing documentation of some of the wonderful entertainment that can be found in Second Life. But there is a problem. For every show that we have been able to capture for posterity, there are at least ten or more shows that go undocumented and vanish into the obscurity of fading memory, never to be seen again. This is a tragedy, but not altogether surprising. Filming in Second Life requires having both a computer capable of such filming and having the time to stay for the entire length of shows. Both of these factors are rarely exhibited in one individual, and thus the supply of Second Life filmographers has been severely limited. We now have the power to change that. I have been in contact with well-known Second Life scripter Shan Bright about the creation of a remote camera operator HUD, RCOH, which would allow distant control of an avatar's viewpoint, the receiver, by a series of other avatars, the transmitters. This will allow residents to combine their hardware and time resources, such that no one person needs to meet all the requirements of filming, and thus dramatically increase the number of available filmographers. We will never have to lose another show to time ever again. The exact details of the remote camera operator HUD have already been quantified with Shan Bright, and are listed at zarkin.com. Once the remote camera operator HUD is finished, Per my agreement with Shan Bright, the remote camera operator HUD will be made available for free to everyone who joins the Zarkin Productions group. Please donate and make the remote camera operator HUD a reality for Second Life filmographers everywhere. Thank you for your time and happy wandering.